Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another vid. I'm sitting here chilling out. And um, I want to talk some hoops with y'all. I know I'm, I'm, a, I'm in the dark, but I'm, I'm going to vent a little bit. It's kind of cold out here tonight. And um, But I'm going to vent out here for a little bit, man. Um, the Golden State Warriors won tonight. Um, 126 to 110. Um, I watched the game tonight. Uh, uh, great defense. Um, Jermichael Green had 13 points, seven rebounds, stepped up real big tonight, played some good defense. This was the best de defensive game I think the Warriors played all season as they uh, they will play the Knicks on Tuesday night. I will be watching. And um, Jordan Poole had a monster game tonight with 43, uh, 43 points, a career high. Um, Clay Thompson uh, delivered, played, played well tonight, man. He had his legs, he had his legs under him tonight because I noticed the other night against, um, who they were playing? They were playing Indiana. And he looked like, now, I think, now he didn't play in the Indiana ball game, but he played against Milwaukee and he just looked like he was just out of it. But tonight he looked like he had his, he's had his stroke going because when I seen him hit that three point shot and when he have his legs under him, um, I know he's going to play a great game. And last but not least, um, we're going to talk about Draymond Green. Draymond Green had a great game tonight. Uh, 17 points, 9 rebounds, and 5 assists. And um, I want to talk about something real quick, though. But it's funny. But, you know, on Facebook, this is like my second f fucking basketball group being blocked. Because I said something about Draymond Green ducking Joel Embiid, right? I'm going to take this video. I got to vent a little bit on this shit. You know, one thing I'm learning about life is that um, my family hates me. Um, people in the world hate me. People on Facebook hate me. Why everybody hates me for just being fucking honest? Why we just can't tell the goddamn truth? He knew what. Why he couldn't do this shit? Okay, he played great tonight against the Toronto Raptors. They won tonight in Toronto, but he knew what the fuck he was doing because he did not want to play against Joel Embiid. He was ducking him. Cause why you didn't play? Why why you didn't play Friday night when they needed you? But I get blocked from a group because I made that post saying thanks Draymond Green for leaving your people hanging. He left them hanging. I don't understand why people give me, like, that's the on YouTube. I do videos. I can't even get 100 views. Why can't we just be fucking honest without everybody fucking crying? I mean, the world is so goddamn sensitive. And I like Draymond Green. But Draymond Green is full of shit. Draymond Green is full of shit. Because he did not want to play against Joel Embiid. He did not want to play against him. But every time somebody tell the truth, people get mad. And that, that shit is irritating as fuck. Because why we just why we just can't be honest, man? Why? Why I cannot be honest without everybody thinking that I'm hating? I'm just being honest, man. He played great tonight. Why he couldn't do this shit Friday night when the Warriors needed him? But nevertheless, that was a great game tonight by the Warriors. And they have to play like this. They were real active. I like what I see from Jermichael Green, man. He played very well tonight. And this this is the kind of effort that the Warriors are going to need if, if they're going to have a chance at, at, at making a playoff run. Um, Dante DiZincenzo, he played a great game tonight. He's get His shot is getting better. Uh, Moses Moody, everybody played a great game tonight. But what bothers me is that why do these Warrior fans kiss his ass so much? And I understand that Draymond Green was part of a dynasty. I get that shit. But why can't they? Why can't he be corrected? Well, everybody fucking crying and bitching, man. You can't three players. You cannot say shit about. You can't say shit about Steph. You can't say shit about Clay, and you can't say shit about Draymond. It's like, goddamn, these dudes ain't Jesus Christ, are they? 
I don't mean to ride a dead horse, and I'm gonna end it on this on this note because I'm gonna go home, man, in a second. But it, it's just, it's just, I, I'm, I'm gonna lay back off of, off of social media, man, because people are just so fucking sensitive, man. People are just so fucking sensitive. Why we just can't be fucking honest? Draymond Green did not want to play against Joel Embiid. He did not want to do it. That's why he ducked that damn game. Won't shit wrong with him. That picture I, I, I posted Friday night. Did he look like he was hurt? And make all that smiling? Him and Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala is literally stealing money. But all they do out in the bay is kiss their ass. I get sick of that shit. Andre, Steph, Clay, and Draymond are not fucking God. Just because... They won, a cha- they won four championships. Come on, man. Let's keep that shit 100, man. We can't, we just can't keep, I just realized that we just can't tell the truth, man. But I'm going to say something. On this channel, I'm going to tell you that because this is my channel. Can't nobody block me here. Shit don't make fucking sense, the shit that he pulls. Doing all types of dumb shit. You 32 years old. You, I mean, Draymond Green should be setting an example for the young players. He's out there getting ejected. Why would you get ejected in the game against Indiana? Every time Clay, Steph, Steph get, got hurt, he made up a reason to get ejected. You think I don't see that shit? But... But they, they, they so, but, but the people out in the Bay Area, they so busy licking the crack of Draymond's ass that they don't want to hear the damn truth about nothing. Shit is sad, man. That shit is sad. I get blocked for speaking the goddamn truth, man. Just don't understand it, man. I, I just don't, I don't understand that people can't see through him. That all you ever done, all Draymond Green done is ride coattails. You gonna beat up on, on easier competition? Why you couldn't do this shit against the, the Philadelphia 76ers? I'm real disappointed with Andre Iguodala too, man. He really disappointed. He ain't played now goddamn game and it's almost fucking Christmas. I mean, what's the point of him being on the damn team? The free luck... <laughs> Shit sad, man. I just that shit is sad. How they just how them people out in the bay, especially them Filipinos, boy. They do not them Filipino fan warrior fans. They do not like to hear the damn truth about him, man. They do not want to hear the damn truth. And I'm gonna just fall back off that shit, man. But I'm gonna continue to cover the team. I'm gonna continue, you know. I'm gonna continue to give y'all updates on them and all and the Lakers and. the and other NBA teams, so I'm going to be talking about other NBA teams too. But I, I just want to talk to y'all about this shit. I had to fit on this shit tonight. Did I get blocked for speaking the goddamn truth? Because all they want to do is lick the crack of Draymond's ass. What has he ever done? But, be, but, but play on a stock team? That team the, like the Warriors had last year was loaded too. He didn't have to do much with KD, Steph, and Clay at their peak. How, how hard was it? All you had to do was rebound and play defense. And I'm not, and I'm not nowhere near um, downgrading what Draymond did because he was a major part of a championship of a dynasty. I can't take that from him. But I just don't understand why I get why I get blocked and why people give me a hard time for just speaking the, the truth. And I just realized that people like to be babied. People like to be pushed in a scroller. People want to be babied and pacified. I, I just, I can't do that shit. I got to call that shit like it is. I think that shit was fucked up. Then, I want to talk about how he said them shits about, he, he, he went after, he went at Steve Kerr. Why the fuck do the Warriors keep putting up with this dumbass nigga, man? Why they keep kissing his ass? They never want to hold this nigga accountable for shit. How much he's hurt this goddamn team. He cost them a goddamn trophy. 
doing stupid shit. You're going after the coach because they bench you. Kavai Looney played better than Andrew and, and, and Andrew Wiggins outplays you, bro. When you going to accept this shit? You failed. They won that championship because because of pool, because of Steph. Um, Steph. It was Steph, Andrew, and, 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 and Kavon. Kav- Kavon was a, a rebounding demon in game four. But you don't want, that's the problem with Draymond. He don't want to own a goddamn thing. He felt like, he felt like it was disrespectful. No, the way you played in that finals was disrespectful. Because all you ever done was freeload your whole career. And I, give, and I give you credit, maybe you did play some defense. But majority of your career, all you did was ride Steph, Clay, and KD coattail. But you the same, but you talk all this big boy shit. But I think, I'm going to be honest with you, everybody talk about KD, but I think that shit was weak as fuck what Draymond did. Went and begged, you begged, you 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 cried in the car for KD to come save you, right? Let's tell the truth. But everybody want to get mad at me. Everybody want to block me. Because we just can't tell the fucking truth. And that's the problem with the world that we live in. Nobody wants to call this clown out for what he is. And I see through the bullshit. Because all I do is I, I just watch from afar. I said, damn, this nigga smiling out here. Why are you smiling? I remember, I remember years ago, man, Kobe Bryant. I know y'all tired of me talking about Kobe, but Kobe Bryant was an example was a great example for men. I remember a game the Lakers had was playing. They was playing somebody. And all the younger Laker players was laughing on the court. And I heard he years ago, he went in the off he went into the locker room and went he did not like that shit. Out there getting they getting blown out by 30 points. And these players sitting on the bench laughing. I felt like that was so disrespectful for Andre Iguodala and Draymond Green to, 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 to laugh? You're laughing while your team losing? Come on, man. But they act like they walk around like they walk around that they got they, they, ass, they got the ass on their chest. They walk around because the bank hits their ass. But come on, man. Y'all both was freeloaders. All y'all did was ride KD Clay and Steph Coattail. How the fuck you get MVP? Steph should have got that shit. But how the fuck? And then what the crazy thing about Andre Iguodala, right? Is I notice how cocky he is. And I love Andre. Don't get me wrong. That's my boy. But Andre Iguodala is a cocky motherfucker, man. Because you didn't earn that 2015 NBA Finals. You didn't earn that shit. Steph average 29 points in the finals and he don't get he don't get finals MVP come on man come on man come on man and then the first thing they want the media want to say is well he shut down LeBron James how the fuck you shut down LeBron James when LeBron James averaged 35 points in that uh, average 35 points in that series did it prove that it proved that they lost because he, LeBron was basically playing by himself. He had no Kyrie, no K, no Kyrie, no Kevin Love, right? Come on, talk to me, man. But you sitting on the bitch. Excuse me, y'all. I'm just so mad. You sitting on the bitch laughing and shit. You laughing it up. And they out there getting their ass kicked. I thought that shit was very disrespectful. And I don't understand why Joe Lakeup put up put up this clown Draymond Green. What the fuck has he ever done? But dick ride Steph. I'm so sick of him dick riding this nigga, man. Kissing his ass all the goddamn time. I'm so sick of that shit. I love Steph. But just because I love... He's my favorite player. And, but just because he's my favorite player don't mean I got to kiss his ass like everybody else in the Bay do. I watch Warrior games. Every, every game they play, I watch. But it's just, all, it's just all the ass kissing they be doing about Draymond Green. That shit is nauseating, man. All they want to do is kiss his ass. They could have got somebody. Look, Kavar, it approved. Kavar Looney won, helped won that championship last year with the rebounding. He felt some type of way because 
because uh, Steve Kerr benched him. He decided to be benched. But then you get mad at Steve Kerr instead of owning the shit. That shit pissed me off, man. That shit pissed me off. That she going to duck Joel and B, but she going to play against the Toronto Raptors. And Toronto Raptors, don't get me wrong, they got Scotty Barnes, they got Precious, they got um Fred Van Vliet, they got Pascal Siak, Spicy P. I love Spicy P. I love Fred Van Vliet. They got a champ. They won a championship. No hate on those guys. But you know, the Toronto Raptors is not the same. It's not as good as a team, as good as good as good as as, as the Philadelphia Six, the Sixers are. He knew what the fuck he was doing. But a lot of them people online don't want to hear the damn truth. Just because, and I say this, just because I dig Draymond. I love I love Draymond. Draymond is one of my favorite players. But. Why can't I correct you without everybody getting mad at me all the time? I'm sick of that shit, man. I'm so sick of this shit, but I can't stop back talking about basketball because basketball is my life. I breathe, eat, and shit basketball. Every day I think about basketball. But I'm not going to... I don't I don't worship people. I don't worship these goddamn basketball players. You say anything about Draymond Green, these Warrior fans, they be kissing, they be kissing this nigga ass, man. I imagine... If I lived in San Francisco and I said something about Draymond Green, oh, they, they'd probably be ready to fight me, man. But if I, I, I was out in Oakland and I said something about stuff to somebody, I mean, goddamn, it's not that serious. They be kissing his ass, man. Goddamn. He can't do no wrong. Many times this man is fucked up. <sighs> Woo! I'm sorry, y'all. That, that shit pisses me off, man. That shit pisses me off. But, you know, other than outside of that, good win for the Warriors. They got a, um, a game, Nick team, um, t- Tuesday night at Madison Square Garden. I will be watching. I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to watch that. But, you know, like I said, man, it's sad that I get blocked for speaking the truth. That America talk about freedom of speech. There's no freedom of speech in America. Because when you tell the truth, and I'm going to get off that for a second. But I noticed people don't like hearing the truth, man. But I, I'm not, I could come up here, you know, just like, I could I could come up here and lie and bullshit y'all, but I ain't that type of nigga, man. I just got to tell that shit like it is. That Draymond Green is full of shit, that all he do is talk. Because where was he at game six? If he's such a great player, why the fuck he leaves stuff hanging? Game six is against, against the uh, Toronto Raptors. Where the fuck was he at in the 2019 NBA Finals? Oh, nobody talks about that shit. You didn't have KD, and, and Pascal Siakam was cooking his ass. But don't nobody say shit about that shit, though. That shit's sad. And I don't think, and he know this is last ride with them. I wouldn't give him no contract extension. Hell no. Nah. And you out here ducking players, but you talk all this shit on you. But I noticed something, too, about Draymond. I'm going to get off this for a minute. But I got the vet off this shit tonight that, this little podcast show. Where, where the fuck is he at tonight? Where the fuck is he at? When they was winning last year, he was talking big shit on, on YouTube. I ain't heard him make a, a YouTube video in a long time, man. Where the fuck is he at? He talked all that shit. But I had to vent off this shit, man. That he ain't said a goddamn thing about the Warriors because they've been getting their ass kicked this year. Why he can't keep that same energy? To me, he just seemed like he a fake dude, man. He just fake. That was, I'm going to end it on this one. That was fake as fuck. That him and Andre Iguodala was smiling. I thought that was real disrespectful. That you out there, they out there scrambling. And you out there laughing at that shit. But that's all I got to say, man. Tell me what y'all think I'm out.